He is so Who funny in Marvel, bro. Oh my goodness. Pussycat doll can what? sing, dance, act. What did he say? Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Let me pipe down a little bit. Celebrities you didn't know were Filipino. I do know a couple, and I have done one like this. Filipino celebrities that you didn't know were Filipino. But hold on a second. People linked this one so many times after it in my DMs and Facebook, by the way. Finally getting to it. And they said, yo, this one has some that aren't in that other list, but also it's like a better formatted video. Huh? It's nicer, it's cooler. Check it out, Vision. You're gonna see something that you didn't know. I was like, yo, wait, there's more that I didn't know? Sounds dope. Come join me. Hopefully you guys are excited. Let's go. Nino Pride is taking over the world and the entertainment industry is all the better for it because diversity and representation have never been more important. Wait, no way he's full Hey. Even Lucifer has jumped onto the Filipino bandwagon. But boxing Yo! legend Manny Pacquiao and theater icon Salama Lea Salonga po. are hardly the only Filipinos that have made a name for themselves in the U.S. Let's get to know these 10 celebrities you didn't know were Filipino. Oh, I know he What's is. Up, Found this that out from the Discovery other video. Discovery Amuse serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out of this world fun facts. Our number one pick didn't need any 24 oh, karat yeah. magic to become yeah, yeah. one of the biggest pop stars on the planet. And you best believe his uptown funk Did came from sing? his Filipino roots. <laughs> Number 10, what? Olivia Rodrigo. Seriously, who didn't become obsessed with the song oh. Driver's License at one point? Either you've been living under a rock, Patrick. or you're just a heartless, broken shell of a man. She's got a healthy Oh, yes, Olivia Rodrigo, Classic. the 17-year-old Disney star and Billboard chart topper, is part Filipino, and Amazing, she's man. proud of her Southeast Asian heritage, too. I'm part Filipina. On my dad's side of the family, my Filipino heritage comes from my great-grandfather. Before reducing That's us so all cool. into a huge pile of crying mess yeah, with her smash hit driver's license, yeah, grown men cry too, you know. Yeah. Olivia got her big break when she grabbed the starring role in the TV series spinoff of High School Musical, where she played Nini Hi. Salazar Roberts. I didn't Fast see this. forward to 2021, and her debut single smashed Spotify's record for single day streams for a non-holiday song and topped the charts awesome. in eight different countries, including awesome. the US and the UK. She even got Taylor Swift's seal of approval. I'm Yo! just so in awe of her constantly and I truly would like not be the songwriter I am today had I not grown up being so inspired by everything that she does. And fun fact. That's awesome, her favorite dude. Filipino dish is lumpia or Filipino Yo! egg rolls. I love Perhaps lumpia. She could cook some for Tay Tay one of these days. I tried Keep it. Keep watching because our top pick probably got his swag and oh, man, we know this from his Filipino mom. Number nine, Darren Chris. But why did they keep showing Bruno this but not Hollywood saying it? This actor rose to fame for his role as Blaine Notice. Anderson in the musical Wait. comedy series Glee. The actor slash singer slash songwriter also appeared in other Broadway and film projects, but his most significant role to date was playing serial murderer Andrew Cunanan in the FX miniseries The Assassination of Gianni Versace, for which he won an Emmy and Wait, a Golden Globe. Wait, should I watch that, y'all? Tell me something, Lee. What terrifies you more, death or being disgraced? The casting couldn't have been more appropriate because just like Andrew Cunanan, Darren is half Filipino. His mom, Serena, is a native of Cebu City in the Philippines, while his father was of English, German, and Irish descent. Damn! In his Golden Globe speech, he even gave a touching shout out to his Filipina mother. I've seen this has been a marvelous year for representation in Hollywood, and I am so enormously proud to be a teeny tiny part of that as the son of a firecracker Filipino woman from Cebu that dreamed of coming mm. to this country. And when Darren got That's married so sweet, to his man. wife Mia in 2019, he even paid tribute to his Filipino roots by wearing the national attire of the Philippines oh. called Barang Tagalog for their wedding reception. That's so beautiful, bro. Number eight, her. My Tita Joan would say, oh my God, 
I am so proud of you. You have Grammys. Wow. This Grammy Award winning singer songwriter's stage name is an acronym for having everything revealed because she wanted to shift the focus more towards her music rather than her personal life. That I felt like, let me not put my face on my music. Let me not put a name on my music and just give my mm. music the way that it is as its pure message. And obviously, it worked to her advantage after scoring chart topping hits such as Best Part, Hold On, and Hard Place. She is damn good, bro. But while her, or Gabby Wilson in real life, prefers keeping a low profile, she's not at all shy about the fact that she was born to an African-American father and a Filipina mother. In fact, part of her musical you see influence what I'm saying? was her family's penchant for Filipino-style karaoke. Woo! And because Filipinos are known to be great home cooks, her grew up loving her mom's authentic homegrown dishes. I'm gonna like have homegrown when I go to the Philippines this year. And kare kare. Sure. This kare kare looks delicious. It wouldn't be a Filipino meal without steamed rice on the side. Her mom sure raised her well. Love you, mom. Number oh. seven, Manny Jacinto. Fight me on this, but me thinks The Good Place is absolutely one of the best sitcoms of all time. Somebody royally forked up. Somebody forked up. Yo, my dad watched this whole thing. Why can't I say fork? Not only did it make us ponder on what it truly means to be a genuinely good person, but it also gave us arguably the most lovable member of the Soul Squad, the breakdancing big Buddhist monk, Jason Mendoza. By the way, everyone here thinks I'm Taiwanese. I'm Filipino. That's racist. Yup, the show's <laughs> casting director did good here because actor Manny Jacinto, who played Jason on the show, is a full-blooded Filipino with awesome, both bro. his parents hailing from the province of Nueva Ecija in the PH before migrating to Canada when he was three years I old. I want to go to Canada, Despite by the way. having a degree in applied science in civil engineering, go everywhere, yep, but he's well, way smarter first. than his good place character will have you believe. His passion has always been in hip-hop dancing and acting, so he eventually moved to LA to pursue his Hollywood dreams. Especially the messages that come through and say that, oh, um, thank you so much for representing um, the Filipinos, uh, the Asians in general, and being able to see something completely different. Number six, Kaylee Steinfeld. Oh, I know this one. The flashlight, uh, I, I know mean, spotlight shone on American singer actress Haley Steinfeld when she became a household name thanks to her roles in True Grit. Ender's Game, and of course, her memorable role as a great Emily actor. Junk in the Pitch Perfect series. I'd, uh, I'd like to perform an original song that Hold I've been on. working on. Um, I'm not, I'm not that, though, so I used to know that one. Let's not be dicks about it. But despite her mostly the white cup. passing appearance, boom, 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 Haley boom. is actually of mixed race. She got her Filipino blood from her maternal grandfather, Ricardo Damasen, who's half African American and half Filipino, and her mother, Sherry, is of English, Filipino, and German descent. She is also the grand niece of Larry Damasen, the former Filipino child actor who starred with Elvis Presley in his what? 1963 Yo. film Fun in Acapulco. I've since been to the Philippines a couple of times, which uh, is so wonderful to be uh, in a place where, you know, you share some of the same DNA with, with the yeah. people that you're, you're, you know, surrounded by. I see a trend here. Most part Filipinos are incredible singers. Maybe it really is in their genes. Really? Number five. Dave That's what Bautista. I knew. Yeah. Come on, man. You know me. Chill out, man. Of course, everybody knows the longest yeah, reigning WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And it seems like his acting chops inside the wrestling ring proved to be an advantage when the celebrity formerly known as Batista decided to cross over onto the big screen. He's so Who funny in Marvel, bro. The Destroyer, the lean, mean fighting machine with a big heart in the Guardians of the Galaxy. I love him in there. Yes, I have single-handedly vanquished the beast. <laughs> But if you're wondering why Dave sports a tattoo of the Philippine flag on his shoulder oh, yeah, that too, that's three awesome. stars and a sun inked on his left elbow, that's Philippines. because Dave's dad, David Michael Bautista, is of Filipino descent. His grandparents from his father's side were Filipino immigrants, and his paternal grandfather used to serve in the Philippine military, too. Oh, wow, dude. I think that, uh, with a lot of Filipinos, they're just very, they're just very driven. So I think yeah. that, you know, that one trait, I think I definitely... 
got from my, my grandfather, even more so than my father. Number four, Nicole Scherzinger. So this pussycat doll can what? sing, dance, act, what judge, in a reality show, and perform on Broadway. Heck, she can even do celebrity impersonations. Wait a minute, is there anything Nicole Scherzinger can't do? <laughs> what? Yo! <laughs> Yo, what the? I guess she can thank her multiracial heritage for her multi-talented genes. See, Nicole's biological father, Alfonso Valiente, is Filipino, but later on when her parents separated and her mom, Rosemary, married Gary Scherzinger, Nicole took her stepdad's surname. This didn't mean, though, that she had forgotten her Filipino heritage. In fact, Nicole recently recorded a Filipino song entitled Panyako, or Promise, in collaboration with a Filipino-American musical director. Oh my goodness! And how can you not stand a multilingual diva? Yes, queen. Number three, Manila Luzon. Her drag name should already be a dead giveaway, given that Manila Wait. is the capital of the Philippines and Luzon is its largest island. She even impersonated infamous Yo, I've first seen it before, lady bro. I don't know where. Marcos on season three of RuPaul's Drag Race. Don't pray for me, Filipinos. Yes, darling. Yes. <laughs> but in case you missed Yo. the Filipino <laughs> connection, Manila Luzon, whose Carl Westerberg in real life is born to an American father and a Filipina mother. When he was a kid, Carl even even practiced Philippine folk dances where his love for performing began until oh, he sashayed so awesome. his way into the world of drag and transformed into one of America's fiercest queens. Here I have Lady Bunny's last will and testicle. Read her all you want for her <laughs> charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent, but you certainly can't clock Wait, was that Bob Ross? in depth knowledge of Bob Filipino Ross? cuisine. This is my dad's favorite. Flan? Leche flan. Yeah, leche flan. Let's see if you guys made this right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check this home with me. Number two. Jacob. Yeah, Babylon. my dog is Spider Man. Fans may have their own opinions about who played Peter Parker best. Tom but Holland. One thing Tom well, Andrew Holland's Garfield's version good, but... of Spider Man oh, blessed us with is his best buddy, Ned Leeds. You're the Spider Man. From YouTube. I'm not. From YouTube. I'm not. Representation wins in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for casting full-fledged Filipino actor Jacob Batalon, whose parents He's such a great actor from too. the Philippines to Hawaii when he was a kid. We sing karaoke a lot. Oh, yeah! Um, we have, we have big barbecues for no reason. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Every day I had like Adobo and Sinigang. Despite Ned Leeds Adobo's being a Caucasian so character in the comic books, Jacob's undeniable chemistry with Tom Holland yeah. during their casting secured him the highly coveted role of Spidey's BFF. That's awesome, bro. Can you spit Venom? <laughs> Can you summon an army of spiders? No, Ned. Before we go to I our number that. one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing, boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, Bruno Mars. Really? It's a shame that a lot of so-called woke millennials accuse this Grammy-winning singer-songwriter of appropriating black culture with his music, especially since Bruno Mars doesn't have any African-American roots. But Bruno maintains that he's not a culture vulture, and his influences like Michael Jackson, Prince, and James Brown shouldn't be held against him and his music. Lucky for you, that's what I like. Oh, to be fair, the Versace on the Floor singer, whose real name is Peter Jean Hernandez, does recognize the merit in all the criticism. His father, after all, is half Puerto Rican, half Ashkenazi Jew, and his mom, Bernadette Bayad, was Filipino. Bruno's mother migrated from the Philippines to Hawaii and worked as a hula dancer. Oh, she wow. met Bruno's musician father when they performed in the same show. Yeah, isn't During that a beautiful way to meet? During his halftime show in 2014, Bruno honored his late Filipina mom by putting her name in his drum oh. set. Oh my God, this song. So, which of these 
listeners are you dying to meet in person? Let us know in the comment section Ooh. below. Take home any of our exclusive gear Honestly, by I don't know. our merch shelf. Look, I'm going to keep it real, man. There is so much that you can love about a culture, but when it kind of resonates with you, it really makes you fall in love that much more. And it resonates with me a lot when it comes to Filipino culture because I remember some people would uh, ask me, why do you love Philippines so much? And I mentioned that obviously not only is there so much talent that I will never get over, it's just so beautiful. I enjoy finding it and seeing it, but it's also the aspect of how they're very family oriented because since I've been growing up, I've always never understood the way that some cultures like kick out their kids and are very weird with their family. Like to me, my culture is very strongly family oriented and like it just doesn't make sense to just dismiss the family when this is something that, you know, your family constructed, like they try to grow you and build you up. And when you're your own person, doesn't mean just goodbye forever. It, it, you're supposed to stay together as a family. You know what I'm saying? And I remember having some Filipino friends and they've always stuck tight with their family and then now finding out through music like them doing karaoke being together or barbecues all these things are very similar in Brazilian culture too we have a lot of barbecues we stay with our family we're very very like close-knit with the family and this is something that I love dearly and this is also another reason why I cannot wait to go to the Philippines because when I go and try that genuine food and post all the videos here you know what I'm saying and that's gonna be so awesome I'm gonna enjoy it so much trying genuine lumpia trying genuine adobo trying all that stuff and i'm gonna record it don't worry trying genuine jolly because i've tried jolly bee boom there's that that was awesome but i'm gonna try the entire menu genuine menu from the philippines itself when i go and yeah there's a bunch of uh dope things that i want to do when i go there and who knows maybe see a karaoke session live you know what i'm saying obviously i won't be singing yo i don't sing i do not sing i repeat i don't sing I rap, so maybe I'll spit it, you know what homie, yeah, yeah, I'm finna get it, don't give a damn, but homie, here we go, man, I'm finna go ham, I hope you understand, hey, I'm gonna do one of those, probably, who knows, bro, I'm gonna just have fun, cause really, that's the point of life, and to love each other, to really just, uh, see the light, and all the dark, and honestly, I would, uh, not mind being that beam of light for y'all, I would not mind, and I cannot wait to see that beam of light in the Philippines, bro, cause I know I will see it. And I love you guys so much. This was definitely entertaining. This was definitely awesome because of the fact that, you know, obviously the video was, he had a good sense of humor. You said some crazy things though. What the, what the like, pussy cow, what the fuck? Anyways, I love the video. It was super enjoyable, super informative. And there are some there that I didn't even know. I literally didn't even know. But regardless, I love you guys, man. I want to thank you so, so, so much, truly for all the support, for about everything you've guys done honestly it, it makes me happy every single day yeah i got my merch uh if you guys ever want to take a look at that i uh, make music first link in the description uh what else um yeah i'm going to the philippines 2024 i'm not gonna say the month yet but um it's gonna be awesome i'm not gonna say the month because it's supposed to be a surprise you'll just see it pop up make sure to keep the notifications on because you'll see a video pop up boom i'm there you know what i'm saying you will not expect it i love you guys so much i want to say thank you so 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 much for watching i really do appreciate it hey if you liked it leave a like if you loved it subscribe if you want more let me know down in the comments below and yeah till next time guys peace